simplifying a ratio of polynomials, problem type 1. I have put up an example here of what you will see when you're working on this topic in Alex. In this particular topic, you must have gotten a good understanding of the factoring from week 3. So what we're doing with this is we have to factor the top and we have to factor the bottom. Okay, so there we go. So looking at the 6y squared minus 24, what we can factor or divide out is a 6. So we're going to put the 6 here. And now we've got y squared minus 4. Okay, we can still break this down even further. So if you remember from last week, we ended up taking, anytime we've got the first term being squared and the last term being squared, and we've got a minus sign in the middle, then we can actually take the square root of each, and we put 1 with a plus, and 1 with the minus. Remember, this was the difference of the squares. Okay, so now we're going to look at the bottom. And of course, this is leading coefficient of 1. So that means we can just simply take two sets of parentheses. And we need factors of negative 12 that will add up to get us positive 4. So we already know that we're going to have a y in each. Well, we've got several factors of negative 12, but we need them to add up to 4. So negative 12, we've got 12 and 1, and of course 1 has to be negative, so that's definitely not going to work. Um, 3 and 4, 1's got to be negative, and that would definitely only get us a 1, but we've got 2 and 6. And of course, 1 would be negative, which would get us a 4. And so the 1 that has to be negative is the 2 in order for us to get a positive 4. And plus 6 here. So I'm going to kind of recopy them over here. Okay. So at this point, this has kind of been a review from last week, you know, breaking this down uh, by factoring. And so ultimately the purpose of this topic is now that you have factored both the top and the bottom, you are simplifying it. So you've got to find things that can cancel out. So we've got up here, we've got this y minus 2, and we've got a y minus 2 on bottom. So both of those cancel out, leaving us with just 6y plus 2, in parentheses on top, and y plus 6 on bottom. And that is as simple as we can make it, and that would be the answer that you would need to put into Alex.